Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144 hopefully elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever for Shalom, Shalom, brothers and sisters. Um, simply gonna, uh, the name of this epistle be, um, let everything that has breath praise you. How about Shema Shai? Okay. Uh, now, I want to thank all the, all the big brothers, all the elders, all the teachers, the apostles, um, all the all the men of the Lord that's bringing out this hundred percent truth. Um, I got this understanding, you know, through mysteries of the kingdom. Brought this out one day. He was uh, I was listening to one of his epistles, you know, on my way to work. And when he brought this out, uh, let everything that has bread praise the Lord. I was like, Psh. I was like, whoa, man. And I was like, the water. I had to pull the car over and I, I typed in. I was like, the water, brother. Because um, when we were, uh, you know, back in the world, listening to all the all this all this gospel music and everything, uh, uh, the, the 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 song right here that comes out in my mind is uh, that. Dietrich Hammond, I believe his name is, uh, with that VOU, he always talking about VOU, and it got some really good tight beats and everything, um, and he made this song, uh, but I just remember the, the end of the song, I remember the song in my head, but I can't find it, on, I, want, I was hoping to find it, but I can't, I can't find, I can't recall it, but the last bit of that song was, let everything that has breath, praise the Lord, you know, um, and man, it was a, it was a powerful song. Anyway, um, so when when the when the brother mystery of the kingdom brought this out, uh, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. He's like, it's not talking about every everybody on the planet Earth that's breathing, you know, because as the scriptures say, this world can't receive, you know, can't receive this this truth, you know. This is only for the the select few, the 144, hopefully elect, and one third of Israel, and that's the Israelites, the seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? So, and it's the ones that are, you know, called and chosen into this, into the mysteries of the kingdom, you know, to the, you know, the mysteries of the kingdom are given unto you, but unto them it is not given. So everything that has breath, everything that Yahweh Hashem Hashem has breathed into it, which would be the 144, hopefully elect, and one third of Israel. So that's, you know, that's what I was like, wow, man. Uh, so let's read this. Let's read this this scripture here. This is the book of Psalms, chapter one fifty. It says, "Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai. Praise Yahweh Shemashai in His sanctuary. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Okay. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the psaltery and harp. Praise Him with the tambourine and dance." Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud, on the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise Yahweh Bashim Ajah. Praise ye the Lord. Right? And you know, just from that scripture right there, brings us to uh, just gonna get this real quick. And I brought this out yesterday in the epistle. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 37. We're gonna start at 7 real quick. So I prophesied as, as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his to his bone. And when I beheld, like, and when I beheld, behold, lo, the shinies and flesh came upon them, it came upon them, you know, all talking about the children of Israel, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. So. Uh, many are called, but few are chosen. Because if you have Hashem, Hashem, you know the children of Israel are waking up to the fact that they are the lost twelve tribes of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. But there's no breath in them. Okay, that's why you still got uh, men going out. That that you know they're going out and they they're doing the work, but they still haven't come to the fullness of the understanding. You know about the the uh, market of beasts, about um, you know just some things they they come up against the scriptures about. Even about even about you know, coming under one accord, man. They still want to go and have these unity camps and everything. But the how about Shemash is not talking about it. It's about coming, you know, gather yourselves together under one accord with the one understanding, with the perfection of the understanding of the scriptures, man. Uh 
So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, the shaking and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the shadows and flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath into them. They, they're not the Holy Spirit, you know, because Shehah Barashim say, you know, repent with your whole heart and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You know, you got to really give it up, believe, man. And also, don't forget, and this is all predestined from the foundation of the earth. You know, the, uh, the 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel, right? It says, then, then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to, this, to the wind, thus said you, how about Shema, I shall the Lord God. Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon their slain, that they may live. Right, because uh, through the Holy Spirit, you know, we're quick and we're made alive, brothers and sisters. So, hey. Going back to Psalms 150. Verse 6. Let everything that has breath praise Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? Because look, we're going to praise Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh with our whole heart, my man. With our whole heart. Okay? Now, let's go to Baruch. Real quick. Okay. Chapter 4, verse 28. For as it was in your mind to go astray from you, how about Shema Shah? So being returned, seek him ten times more. And that word seek goes into following. You know, uh, you know, following, just just right there, man. And they follow the lamb wheresoever he goeth, you know. Yeah, how about Shema Shah? We're right up, we're right up there, man. We're we're in it. We're in the midst of things. We're in the Lord is on our our every you know on, on pretty much our, our our every waking thought because we're praising how about Shema Shah. We have the Lord. We're walking with the Lord. The Lord said, "I'll be in you, and you'll be in me." So these words, these words of truth, the understanding, are you know we're 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 walking in the ways of Yahweh Shema Shah to the best of our abilities, brothers, with the spirit that the Lord has given us. Yahweh about Shema Shah. So therefore, we are praising Yahweh about Shema Shah, man. We're very thankful, and this uh, comes to mind for me when I was a youth, when I was a, a young one, man. I remember, I specifically remember, uh, you know, hearing about this wonderful place called the Kingdom of Heaven. But in my spirit, I, I was like, I knew it's just something that you must have to do to get it. And I, I remember praying to the Lord back then, you know. Not, in my ignorance, of course, didn't know the name, uh, but I prayed to Yahweh by Shema Shai back then, you know, through the Spirit, that if He just showed me what I needed to do to be able to enter into the kingdom of heaven, you know, I said, you know, please Yahweh by Shema Shai, just show me, you know, through the Spirit, I didn't know His name or nothing, <laughs> I was like, if you just show me, and I'll, I'll do it, man, I'll do it. Uh, and then, how be it? Look, look, man. You have about Shema Shah has called us into this, you know, out of darkness into this marvelous light. So, hey, praise you. How about Shema Shah? All praise to you. How about Shema Shah? We're going to get more into the epistle here. Want to go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 2, verse 6. Okay? For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Right. So, uh, the reason why we're bringing this out is because we want to. Uh, just look around, man. There's an article right now. Brothers are bringing this out about Chris Brown. I got. Do I have it? Chris Chris Brown talking about the aliens. Um, you know, will help us. Did I, let me see if I, I saw it to myself. Let me read it real quick. This article. It says Chris Brown recently shared a deep thought on his Instagram stories. Uh, per Hot News Hip Hop. Let me put my glasses back on. The, sing the singer claims to have the answers about the current state of the world. He said, if aliens exist, I sure hope our government aren't speaking on our behalf. Cosmic disclosure will help us to get on the right path. Frequency with the planet and break us free from this mental cage. But what do I know? I'm just a good dancer, he says. Now, when I was when I was searching for this, for you know, article, you know, just a bring it up bring it up um, I found things 
videos from way back, like even eight years ago, maybe two years ago as well, about Chris Chris Brown. Did I say Chris Rock before? I meant Chris Brown then. About him uh, seeing, seeing the chariots, you know, uh, and then making a little uh, Instagram post about it, I suppose. Uh, so I might have that plan in the background, I'm not sure. But, you know, once again, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6, for you, how about Shema Shai giveth wisdom, okay? Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Right, so it's the Lord, man, that gives us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And it's his will, uh, like, right, right, right back to the scripture, many are called, but few are chosen. Uh, so, as we can see, Chris Brown, over here, we understand what the chariots are, but he's still in the world with the worldview about them being aliens or whatever. Uh, but Yahweh Hashem Shah has opened us up. He's given us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to understand that those are the angels, his heavenly angels, man, it's his heavenly hosts. It's uh, and also, it's for, even furthermore, they they're the ones. So he was saying that uh, maybe they can help us understand. And it's Ain't true, man. That's, that's what they do. Line. But no also, Full they block please. certain amount of people from fuck getting the understanding, the knowledge, of understanding. Like so he's still out there in the world. But this information is right here, right in front of our eyes. Right, so one more time, praise you, Yahweh Hashem Hashem, bless you, Yahweh Hashem Hashem, the Lord God of Israel, who's opened up our eyes to see. But then, uh, as the scriptures say uh, in the book, book of Romans, chapter eleven, verse seven, but the rest are blinded, man. So this is a precious, precious, precious gift, brothers and sisters. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. Chapter 6, verse 8. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said, I, here I, here I am, send me. And this is an angel that's going to go back and close the, eye, close the eyes and the minds of the children of Israel that's not destined, predestined to get this understanding, and not to receive this understanding. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Okay? So they see the prophets out here bringing down the 100% truth, Telling the, the world about these prophecies that's coming to pass, uh, uh, telling the children of Israel to repent to the one true living God before you know all hell breaks loose before this time of Jacob's trouble, before these uh, these damn devils uh, try to implement this mandatory, uh, telling you to get this this thing put inside you, this this uh, these abominable medicines that they want to uh, mess with your whole DNA structure and all that stuff, and then ultimately try to get you to take this uh, mark of the beast. In your in your hand, man, the chip. So a lot of the children of Israel is not going to be able to understand. They're not going to be able to repent and be healed from this. They're going to continue on thinking they're Americans, thinking they're black people. They're not going to. They're not. So that's why it's very. You know, all praises to Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. For every day, Yahweh Hashem Shai keeps the spirit on us to have faith, to believe in His word, you know, and stay in the truth. So, one more time, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, Here I am, send me. And he said, Go, tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see you indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes. Least they see with their eyes. That's least means so they won't. See with their, with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitation, and the house without man, and the land be utterly desolate. Okay? So, they're going to stay that way, man, because they're destined for destruction. Because the scripture said, The Lord will have mercy on whom he will have mercy on. And they, everybody's standing in their lot, you know? Um, and one, one more time, man. Praise ye, Yahweh Shema Shai. Everything that has breath, brothers and sisters. Everything Yahweh Shema Shai. Everyone that the Lord has woken up to this 100% truth, you know. And so let's get some more of this understanding here real quick. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Because, you know, Yahweh Shai, that's why this is such a precious gift as well, man. Yahweh Shai, come. And I was reading that a little earlier, man, in the book of um, Hebrews chapter 9. Uh, all the Hebrew, the book of Hebrews really tells you, you know, how it is. You know, how Yahweh Shem um, you know, endured temptation for our sins to be that lamb without blemish. You know, uh, it speaks about 
how Moses, you know, when we had the first, when we had made the first covenant, how Moses uh, took the blood of the goats and sprinkled the children of Israel, sprinkled the sanctuary, sprinkled the tabernacle, when you know with the blood to make that first covenant. But now Yahweh Shai has come and died for our sins, you know, uh, and it has to be made with, you know, a, a sacrifice made with blood. And he gave his life. And this is the time for that mercy, you know, is granted unto us to turn around to repent. You know, and Yahweh Shai has given us this breath, this understanding to uh, to understand these words, to take advantage of this this uh, mercy that that has been granted to us, okay? But to them, it is not given, right? Let's go. Um, so, one more time, Luke chapter one verse sixty-eight. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for He has visited and redeemed His people. Okay, I wanted this to be a little short epistle, man. Um, but a hey, don't know, brothers and sisters. It's just, you know, this the spirit, man. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Okay? Because you have about Shema Shai, uh, like we read in the book of Proverbs, chapter 2, verse 6. He's the one that gives us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But you have about Shema Shai said, I will give you pastors according to mine own heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. That's going to bring us even closer to you have about Shema Shai because. You know, it's this wisdom and knowledge and understanding that's going to be the stability of our times through all these times of Jacob's trouble, these upcoming times. Even the fact to understand what, who the, what, the name, what the name of Yahweh Hashem HaShad, the Lord's name is. You know, how we should go about things. Uh, bringing out this understanding of the scriptures, you know. Let's go to the book of Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of Yahweh Hashem Shai. And he shall send Yahweh Shai which before was preached unto you whom the heavens must receive until the times of restitution of all things which Yahweh Hashem Shai has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. So once again the Lord speaks through the mouth of the prophets. And that's how he is going to feed us with this knowledge, you know. And we're going to go now to the book of Hebrews. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I was moving just a little quicker, brother, because I, I was hoping to get this under all under, um, you know, 20 minutes. But we're going to have to reset the camera. So... Yeah, so yeah, but these are the words of the Lord, and they're spoken of through the mouth of his holy prophets. Okay? And it's a blessing for us to have these words. I'm looking. Where is it? There it is. The book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 1. And I think I'm going to reset the camera right now, brothers and sisters. Okay, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 1. It says, Let us therefore fear. Least a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. Right. Let's fear, man. Let's let's make sure that we stay on our toes. You know, so we, we don't uh, become surfeiting, you know, worried about the cares and affairs of this world. But we should seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. Because the Lord had given us this, this insight uh, to how to go about, you know, uh, obtaining... You know, and, and staying here and in the truth. Because we got to stay occupied occupied right here in this word, man. We can't um, be going back and forth. We can't be lukewarm. Or, or, you know, you can't serve two masters, so to speak. For unto us was the gospel preached, right? As well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Exactly. So it's a gift of faith, man. It's the gift of faith because the word is being preached on the four corners of the earth. You know, uh, many celebrities have heard the word, but have they have they wholeheartedly repented to the one true living God? Have they begged Yahweh by Shema Shai, uh, for this mercy, you know, uh, to open up their eyes so they can see? Have they even heard, you know, or are they just, yeah, okay, it's just another, you know, okay, yeah, wow, that sounds interesting, yeah. 
and continue on in their word, not taking this word dead serious. This is verse 3. So this is Hebrews chapter 4, verse 3. For we which have believed do enter into, into rest. Right, because you have Hashem Hashem has said, He that believeth on me is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. And if you believe in the word, it's going to do something to you, man. You know, you're going to start, Yahweh Hashem Hashem, just like the scripture said, will lead you out of that darkness to this marvelous light. Once again, because it's already predestined. So all praises to Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Let everything that has breath praise Yahweh Hashem Hashem, man. For we which have believed do enter into the rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, for he spoke in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and Yahweh Shem El did rest the seventh day from all his works, and in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached enter not in because of unbelief. Again, he limited a certain day saying in, saying in David today, after so long a time as it is said, today if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, man. That's why this word is going out, you know, telling the children of Israel to repent to the one true living God. Make no terror to turn to the Lord. Because these words are faithful and true, you know. And they're being performed. The Lord has given us these tokens uh, to let us know, hey man, the time is getting, the time is closer and closer. He's at hand. Uh, and you know, all these tokens that the word is true. Believe in this word. For if Yahweh Shai had given them rest, then would he not afterwards have spoken of another day? There remaineth before a rest to the people of Yahweh Shema Shai. For he, he that is entered into his rest, he also have ceased. From his own works as Yahweh Shemaz did from his. Let us labor, right? Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Okay? Because even, even Yahweh Shai, uh, he was not finished with the work. He was so close, but he was like, can this cup be taken out of my hand? No, nope, he had to finish to just the last part. And we also have to, you know, being called out of this, out of this darkness into this marvelous light. Now we're coming into that time of, of our temptation. Now we're coming into the time of, you know, preparing our hearts and minds and souls, you know, to go through that, man. To get ready for this time, for this time of Jacob's trouble, you know. Um, and at the same time, throughout all of that, continue to praise Yahweh Hashim uh and beg him and give it, you know, for that spirit, you know, to make it through, brothers and sisters, you know. Because right now we're going through all these afflictions to prepare us for these things. Right now, we're getting built up in the faith to prepare us for all these things. And it's all of the will of Yahweh Shem HaShai. It's all of the wisdom, just like Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6. He's the one that's given us his wisdom, wisdom and understanding. You know, so everything that has breath, praise Yahweh Shem HaShai. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Right, because you can't be, hey. You can't be tossed to and fro. This is whoop right there, man, right there. For Yahweh Shema, for the word of Yahweh Shema Shai is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and it joints of marrow and is the discern of thoughts and intent of the heart. Right. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to to do. Right, man. You got to be of a clean heart and a pure spirit. You know, you can't be, that's why the scripture, um, one of my favorite scriptures that, that terrifies me to death, but also keeps me on that path of fear, is that uh, the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit. You know, these are, man, this is so spiritual, it's so serious, man. Because you you have to come to that place of of uh, seeking Yahweh Hashem HaShah ten times more. So, you're, 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 you're following after the Lord so so closely trying to you know just doing your absolute best to the best of your abilities you know we've come we've, we're ceasing from uh, all this sinful sin, sinful nature the lust of the flesh and all that stuff even now the, the, the mental you know mind also so we're rebuking these evil thoughts when they come up as well hey you just gotta be on your P's and Q's man to enter into that rest okay um Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto, his, unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. 
seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Yahweh Shai, the son of Yahweh, let us hold fast our profession, brothers and sisters. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Okay? Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to, to help in time of need. Right. So how about Shema Shah knows what we're going through, man. And all we gotta do to the best of our abilities, just keep that clean heart, you know, and praise you how about Shema Shai to the best of our abilities. How about Shema Shai know he been through it. And he's right there as our mediator, you know. Uh you know, um and it, it's just a beautiful thing, brothers and sisters. So once again, let everything that has breath praise, praise Yahweh Hashem Hashem for this mercy that's granted unto us because to them it is not given, it is given unto us. This is the book of James chapter 1 verse 22. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own selves because this is, this is something that we just can't be, um, you know, hey, this is, a, this is a work, man, okay? This ain't easy. It is a work. It's truth. Let's go to the book of St. John 17 and 17, one of my favorite scriptures around about this time. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth, right? So, being washed and cleaned by the word. There's a, there's a, a dude that, uh, that Derek guy that I made an epistle about the other day. He's almost as if he's joking around. I, I, he's bugged out too, though, man. Because I remember him from a while back now. I do recall him, man. Because uh, he come and talking about uh, why can't we watch IUIC. Then after I, you know, tried to make an epistle about it, he comes back the next time, why can't we watch IUISUPK. Um, I, you know, just, just folly, you know. But this is, a serious, this is a serious thing right here, man. It says, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is thy truth. The word of Yahweh Hashem Asha is the cleanest, sanctifies, purifies, give us that fear of Yahweh Hashem Asha, you know, all through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Asha that he's given unto us, blow that breath into us, okay? As thou, as thou has sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world, okay? And for their sakes I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Okay, so if you believe in the words of the elder apostle Great Millstone and all the brothers on down that umbrella bringing out this 100% truth, Yahweh Hashem Asha said he's praying for you. Just like we just read in the book of Hebrews, you know? He's that mediator, man. This is the time of grace and mercy. Everything that has breath, praise Yahweh Hashem Asha and understand how beautiful this thing is and how uh, privileged you are, man. Let's go to the book of Joel, chapter 2. Verse 12, Therefore also now, say Yahweh Shema Shai, Turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. Right, this is the time to get it together because of the faith, you know, of the word. Believe in these words. That something, that, look, when this thing starts to kick off, when Esau Edom comes down having great wrath, when they just close it all up, and put that hammer down, put that foot down. About you won't be able to go into these stores. Uh, you won't be able to work unless you do what they say. And but what they're saying is an abomination to you. How about Shema Shai? What they're saying goes contrary to the word of Yahweh Shema Shai that is given to us, being his chosen people. We have laws that commandments that we must abide by, that supersedes the laws of the land. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord actually told us to obey the laws of the land. But when the laws of the land start to trample over the word of Yahweh Hashem Hashem and try to tell us to uh, neglect the words of the Lord, then that's when the scripture comes into play. We ought to obey God rather than man. Okay? And that's what it's going into. So right now is the time to repent to the one true living God. Right now is the time to believe in the word of Yahweh Shema Shai wholeheartedly to become reborn and become renewed. You know, um, 
Therefore, also now, said Yahweh Shemashah, turn ye even unto me with all your heart, with, with fasting, and with, with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your heart, and not your garment, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repent to him of the evil. Who knoweth if he, if he will return and repent, and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto Yahweh Shemashah? You know? So that's why this word is going out to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, you know. Now, we're going to jump over for one, a little token that Yahweh Shem Asha has left with, with us. Um, there's a... Uh, <sighs> Did I have my... I should have been writing these down. Right now, there's a um, a little on the news. They're talking about those little um, those murderers, those murders that has happened, the killings that's happening to the Chinese people. Um, and of course, you know, you've heard about uh, the Chinese people getting, you know, attacked around the uh, America but the thing about this whole thing is what they're saying now now they're saying that the Chinese people are the minority why do they keep changing who the minority is anytime there's a certain victim or somebody's being victimized all of a sudden they're the minority I thought we were the minority you know what I'm saying first it, it's the uh, the the, uh, the gays they're, they're the minority now you know now it's the Chinese people they're the minority they have a whole country that, you know, it's one thing after another. But this uh, is a token of Yahweh Shem HaShah. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 7. And Yahweh Shem HaShah, the Lord thy God, will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And, you know, that's beautiful because that's what we're seeing right now. Uh, this is one of the curses. Uh, this is uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 66. And thy life shall hang in the doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of thy life. Right, now, yeah, the curses are falling upon our enemies and all those that hate us. Now, I just wanted to bring that out because um, all praises to Yahweh by Shem HaShah. Let's go back to Psalms chapter 150, verse 6. Let everything that has breath praise Yahweh by Shem HaShah. Okay, so... You know, it's just a simple epistle of giving praise and thanks to you. How about you, shy man? Um, yeah, that's it, man. Let's go. We're going to get this last scripture and we're going to close it out. In the book of Luke, one more time, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh about you, shy God of Israel. Okay? And even though these Christians are coming at us, no, he... Uh, no salvation is for everyone blah 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 it don't matter because the scripture the word of Yahweh Hashem HaShah and the knowledge and the understanding uh, lets us know hey man this is the this word is true this is only for the so called Negro Hispanic and Native American Indians okay blessed be the Lord God of Israel for he has visited and redeemed his people okay it's, it's done it's done okay so with that brothers and sisters I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, and the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever you're going. Shalom, Israel. Shalom.